great for organization. Also, what I love too is backwards. Super light in weight, as you can tell, you can lift it with two fingers. This one you can actually charge your phone, so it has the two ports for a USB cord. Oh, I'm so mad right now. So let me get a drink, calm my nerves. Oh my nerves. What's up, mi gente? I hope everybody is doing fantastic. I kiss you, I kiss you, I kiss you. So I am in the process of relocating. I need space for my clothes. I have a lot of underwear and socks and t-shirts. Everything is just like piled up in a corner. So I did find this perfect dresser online by Yira, uh, Yira Furniture. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. I cannot wait to actually unbox it, give it a try and see if I can actually kind of consolidate a few things and organize some of my personal belongings because I'm gonna go nuts crazy. <laughs> Test in the box. Do not cut with a sharp object because you can actually ruin your piece. It's so cute. I like it has like your um, sharding station on the top. I think that's really neat. Yeah. Oh, little steps. Gives me anxiety. The instructions are great. So I have, again, bought furniture in the past online and the instructions sometimes are not clear or they don't label things correctly, which is sometimes a problem. So everything, it is mark for you so there's no confusion which that actually is going to help quite a bit by the way i gotta make a special note about this it comes with a screwdriver i've never ever seen anything that i've ordered in the past that comes with a tool the piece in here is backwards i can believe it i can believe it i can believe it <sighs> let me take a deep breath so i don't lose control of myself i have an instant panic attack instant i should have read the freaking instructions it's just because i'm an idiot didn't read them Thoroughly. I don't know, I didn't pay attention to the little details. So this part, I put it the other way, so of course the door is not gonna fit correctly. <laughs> ah, I'm so tired. Oh my gosh, get your words together, Rudy. get your words together. It's fine, things happen. It's one of those days. I've been getting a lot of questions about being a content creator recently, and people think that it is glamorous, that it's easy, that all you do all day long is taking pictures, and that's it. It's way, way more than that, you guys. So it is fulfilling, it's fantastic. I love, love uh, being a creator. I don't know, like for me it's a therapy to create content and you have to be born with that passion. You cannot just do it for the quick money because there are gonna be ups, they're gonna be down. So you have to be passionate if you wanna jump into creating content and anybody can do it. Literally anybody can be a, a content creator these days. However, not everybody has the passion, not everybody has the resilience and the stamina to do it. So I think that's the secret to success. It's just to stay true to yourself, no matter your background, no matter if your English is good or not. All you need is you and a camera and some imagination. That's all you need, honestly. The only person that you have to please at the end, it's you, just saying. And another thing is you gotta be organized. If you're not organized, things can be a little challenging. As a content creator, you have to become, you got to create the idea of the video. You have to film it. You have to edit, the tagging, promoting it, the marketing, the emails, the communication. Ah! So there's a lot to be a content creator. It's just not as simple as people think it is, especially when you are alone and you're doing everything yourself. That's the part that it gets a little hard, but I love it. I like that. And I like the fact that I'm doing everything on my own. You get your hands dirty, like you do the work. So then you know how to edit, you know how to film, you know how to do the right angles. You search the hot topics if that's the case. And I like to make content that I enjoy, that I like, and that people resonate with. And there's gonna be content that I film that doesn't resonate with some people and that's totally okay with me because at the end of the day, all you gotta please is yourself first. Otherwise, you're gonna be miserable and you're gonna hate what you do. So it's very important to love what you do first. And then people are gonna follow. Because then, trust me, the people are gonna find you and they're gonna be on the same page as you are. So, and I'm going through that. Ouch. Ouch. So this part over here, it has taken me about 45 minutes to put together. I think I'm about 
70% done, so it's gonna do this top part in here, the back part, and then it's gonna be a matter of the little details and the drawers. So if I can do this, probably you can do too. All right, moving on, moving on. So now I have to assemble 20 plus minutes of work. Freak. These little things are very important and I didn't pay attention to it. And they mark it here. It's not their fault. It was just me being a freaking ass. You're an idiot. You're an idiot if you think this guy's boring. Oh, I'm so mad right now. Oh. So let me get a drink, calm my nerves. And I'm back. Here are the official instructions. You must take cover immediately. Hey guys, so... Oh my gosh, I was so tired yesterday. I had a long day. My husband has to come actually come in and help me finish installing. So it is right now 5.30 in the morning and I have to finish the video. So you gotta see what it looks like. So I'm sorry if I sound just a little kind of weird right now. I just need my coffee. I haven't had my coffee. I don't even know how I'm filming this early without coffee, but this is great. Great for organization. Also what I love too is the drawers are actually so light in weight. This is like a fabric drawer, but it doesn't quite look like that. It comes with the handle. Now, I was a little skeptical at first because I thought that it would not hold literally like no weight. Well, definitely it does hold because it has like the bottom of it that you attach to, you press in and it's like a hard cardboard. So it really can hold some weight for like jeans, for shirts, for pretty much anything. That's great, super light in weight. As you can tell, you can lift it with two fingers. This will be great for a studio. This would be good for obviously a bathroom. Like if you have extra toilet paper, little towels, things like that to organize a bathroom. I think this is perfect. I love that wood part of it in contrast with the black. I think it's super um, sexy, masculine, modern, I would say. It can go with any type of decor styles. If you wanna make it a little bit more homey or more girly or however you wanna call it, just add flowers. I, can buy myself flowers. I like my flowers, so I added um, this orchid and kind of dresses up the, the area just a little bit more, right? Um, you can have a candle, some books. I do also lots of decorate with lanterns, so that would be another great look just to change it a little bit. This one, you can actually charge your phone, so it has the two ports for the USB cords. This is for a bathroom, you can connect for your hair dryer, so this would be a good one just to have like a basket with your hair essentials. You can do a lamp, obviously, if it's in a studio or a bedroom. I like the length of it. It's not bulky at all, it is actually pretty slim, which is another thing that I love. It doesn't take a lot of space, I think it's just great. This again can go for a girl, can go for a guy, this go with any type of decor. And installation process, not that hard. I think it's just beautiful, I like the ambience of it. Um, some of my <coughs> undergarments, no judgment zone in here. Actually the t-shirts was the same before, you can do shorts, you can do whatever. Close the one in there. It will hold pretty much the weight, not a problem. Don't be scared because it's fabric. It does hold. It has a good substantial weight to it. So thank you so much, Gita Furniture, for actually sponsoring this video and for providing this piece for me to present here on my channel. Thank you because I really was needing this and I'm loving it. I think it's so beautiful and I'm gonna have fun redecorating it um, at times because I love to potter around my house. I hope you guys actually find this video helpful if you're looking for a piece of furniture for for your space, then check this uh, website, Gita Furniture, and they have so much stuff, I have no idea. Honestly, I went in and uh, was just looking for something like this. Then I explore on the menu, on the website, and they have, holy moly, a lot of home decor, a lot of pieces of furniture, and the prices are just really reasonable. I was like, wow. And the shipping, super quick. I thought it would take about a week or a week and a half or so. It took about three days or something. Super quick, I was like, what? The instructions came with a phone number for customer service, business hours, so definitely it is a solid company with, with customer service, great website. Again, if you have any questions, please leave your comments right there below. Do not forget to subscribe, do not forget to hit like, always helps the algorithm and it helps to keep growing the family here. So I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video. Alright, take care and have a blessed day. Bye now.